Okay, so for our blood text effect assignment, um, so you're really looking for a, a textured background, and there are some to choose from in the, the patterns folder, which I'll show you in a little bit because we have to get the legacy folder, the one that has been in Photoshop for a long time. Um, so they have lots of patterns there, even though it doesn't look like they do, but I'll show you that in just a second. But we want to get a like a wall kind of concrete texture. I gave you guys one in our assignment that you can download and then install. So I'm going to show you how to install it. It's really quick. Okay. So we can install it underneath our adjustment layer going into pattern. So adjustment layer pattern. So these are the default ones. Oops, not that one. So the trees, grass, and water are the default ones in the 2020 version. Now I have a legacy pattern, so I'll show you how to get that in a little bit. Um, but And you don't have this concrete one yet you will get it. So how you do that is go to this gear and then go to import pattern. So you get in that concrete pattern that you downloaded. It might be in your downloads. If you put it into your folder like I did, okay, because I'm a good girl, okay. I put it into my assignments, assignment four, I even organized it. And so here's my concrete pattern. I can tell it's a concrete pattern because it says type pot, so pattern. So I'm going to click on that and then click load. Then you can see that it's there. It's there twice just because, you know, I've done this multiple times. Anyway, so you're going to see it in that, and you can see that the concrete pattern is there, so now you can select it. It is slightly different than the one in the, in the tutorial, but it's okay. It'll still work out really good. Okay, so another way to get some patterns um, is to find those legacy patterns that I kind of quickly showed you. So you're going to go into Window and go to Patterns. Okay, so we're getting up the, the panel that's going to show all of our patterns. I can delete patterns here. Like, I don't know why I have so many tree patterns. I'm just going to delete them. Just kind of bring them down there. I'm not suggesting you delete them, but I just have multiples of too many things. So the legacy patterns, you wouldn't have this. I'm going to delete this just so it looks a little bit more like yours now. I'm going to go up to this little options panel here and then go to legacy patterns and more. Okay, so now this is going to be folders within folders. You're going to have this on your computer. Once you do this once, you don't have to continue to do it every time. So you have so many. And you could change the view on how um, this list is. It could be large thumbnail. So when you open up the folders, it will show as a large thumbnail. Or you can go to small thumbnail. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Thank you.